The group meets every Tuesday leading up to the election, and this year has presented new challenges as the number of mail-in ballots has grown by at least tenfold. The mail-in ballot process begins after hours at the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections. Sometimes a ballot doesn't arrive like it's supposed to. So I'm going to hold this one out. This ballot was somehow damaged within the postal process. No matter if sent by mail or dropped off in person. The reason why I brought it up here, though, was to make sure that it got to the Board of Elections. Your mail-in ballot sees a lot of hands and eyes before Election Day. Uh, that is sort of like what we're doing with these absentee ballots. The There's first stop the is the boardroom. The five-person board, made up of three Democrats and two Republicans, meet every Tuesday night, spending hours physically counting the number of mail-in ballots from each day. Each postal service container holds 800 ballots. This year, half a dozen containers per day are waiting to be counted. This night, they processed almost 20,000 ballots. By the time they finish tonight, we will be close to uh, three and a half times what we did total four years ago. So that's huge. The process is open to the public. So everybody sees that nothing's done in the dark, nothing's done without sunshine. On this night, a representative from the local Republican and Democratic Party were on hand. Once the total number of mail-in ballots per day is confirmed, the ballots move to a room next door where they are open and sent through this processing machine. Nothing gives them a total now that not until we hit uh, tally in total will it come up on November 3rd. The ballots are placed into a box and the processing machine leaves the results on a flash drive. Both items are stored in a secure vault inside the Board of Elections until November 3rd. For security reasons, we can't show you where that vault is. Processing night doesn't come without hiccups. There was that ballot damaged in the mail, another coming back glued together. One was also torn so it couldn't be read by the processing machine. If the ballots can be read with human eyes, a duplicate will be made. We'll have, I'll have staff replicate and I'll have my board approve those so that it goes through bipartisan eyes uh, of, of checking to make sure it works. In rare cases, if a ballot for some reason cannot be read or the envelope came back without a ballot inside, the voter will be contacted and asked to complete a new ballot. With these meetings being open to the public, the director of elections encourages anyone to attend who wants to see the process firsthand. In the newsroom, Brett Baldeck, Fox 46.